It is September 16th. We are in beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah. Behind me, the church, and in front of you, me. We're going to be interviewing a man named Scott Howell. Scott Howell is running for the Senate seat currently held by Orrin Hatch. My name is Henry Rollins, and I'm embarking on a tour through every state capital in America, all the way up to November's presidential elections. I want to learn a few things, and knowledge without mileage equals bullshit. So come follow me into what Mark Twain called the territory. This is Capitalism 2012. Mitt Romney, Scott Howe, Harry Reid, we all have these fundamental beliefs of our faith and it's too bad that people would use the faith um, as a reason not to vote for President Romney. But as a Mormon Democrat, there's a lot of things that I am trying to dispel. In fact, I got invited back to the DNC to speak about Mormonism in America today. Someone's a religious affiliation, that's one of the many great things about America, that we have religious diversity, freedom of and freedom from religion. And so I've noticed and I watched the presidential race very, very closely. It's not been coming up very much. In, in the bigger picture of Mr. Romney. And I'm really glad about that. It says a lot about where America has come from. And I don't, because I don't think it should be a restriction right. to, to voting for right. anybody. Right. I, I really don't think right. so. And so I'm, I'm, I'm glad about that. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, that you're running openly as a Mormon, because that I think will help to dispel things further. America has a long way to go. You know, we've come a long way, and there's still quite a journey ahead. Should we get a Romney administration, what do you think that will mean to the state of Utah and to Mormon people? There, it is a moment, Mormon moment right now. It's exciting because, you know, we've lifted our faith out of obscurity. Me running for the United States Senate, Mitt Romney running, and we all have the same beliefs. I mean, you can't help but feel like somebody in the family might have a shot to be the leader of the free world all over. Now, that doesn't mean we all agree with Mitt Romney's policies. But if he does get elected, there genuinely is a scripture that I wanted to share out of our Doctrine and Covenants with the whole world. This is a revelation given to Joseph Smith, and I think this should put at ease and calm of every person out there that would be afraid that Mormonism would be the next policy of the country. And Joseph Smith said, we do not believe it is just to mingle religious influence with civil government whereby one religious society is fostered and another prescribed in its spiritual privileges and the individual rights of its members as citizens denied. That's very powerful words coming from the Lord. And so I want my non-LDS friends to be really be able to understand that a true believer of our faith would have just as much respect for a non-believer, for a Jewish, for a Muslim, for a Protestant, for whoever it might be, because when we lead the United States of America, or I lead in the United States Senate, I don't care about their face. What I care about is people. Mr. Hall had some very interesting points of view. He also faces some very unique challenges in that he's going up against Orrin Hatch. Orrin Hatch is an extremely long time politician. We're talking decades. He's also very well funded. And so Mr. Hall is going to be vastly outspent. There's no way around it. So he's got uh, a, a hell of a challenge facing him all the way up until November. I'm going to be on stage here very, very soon. This is a city, Salt Lake, that I've played many, many times. I've had a really good time here in my life. The first time I did a show here in Salt Lake City was summer of 1981. So I have quite a history with this place. Uh, I'm 51. I've been doing shows in your city since 1981. And uh, so far, I've, I've not had a bad time. Some of the venues have been trying. I'm going to get out of the venue, meet everyone by the bus. We're going to get on the bus and roll all night to Boise, Idaho, the capital city in the great state of Idaho. It's a gorgeous piece of real estate, and I'm looking forward to it. So until then, stay tuned. 